A question of character. Dig Dug is the world's greatest. He uses his red harpoon to. Okay, no, we're not. We're not doing this. Dig Dug must dig. Dig. It has been dug. Dug. Now he must kill. Dig Dug is a mass murdering landscaper using a torturous weapon of choice. The harpoon inflator. Incredibly lethal. Incredibly painful. Shoot your harpoon, Dig Dug, into their midsection. Puka grimaces in pain. Lethal inflation gas fills its lungs. Puka cannot bear the sight of what is to come. But Dig Dug cherishes the view. Dig Dug feverishly pumps. Release! Puka's beach ball-esque flesh is torn open. His insides bursting outside. This Puka is no more. Time for my next victim. Figar gets it from the rear. Release! Figar's white dragon belly explodes. Its pupils dilating. Except Dig Dug's gift of eternal sleep, Figar. This is Dig Dug land. He must grow flowers. Dig Dug must make sure nothing survives beneath him. Puka and Figar believe otherwise. May the battle for underground supremacy commence. Figar, eyes wild in amazement. Teeth of chomp. Fire of burning. Puka, body of ball. Goggles of Gah, hopping madly. The creatures are set to stop Dig Dug. This is their play field. Dig Dug hates them. Dig Dug is furious. Narrowing his frown, gripping his fist. He will pump them. Pee. Dig Dug uses the finest of spelunking equipment. Digging gloves. Digging helmet. Red boots. Made for digging. The honorably decorated stripes of a man who digs. Dig Dug appears with a blue hue while using his drill suit, possibly representing his oxygen level. Air is sparse underground, but violence is plentiful. Dig Dug uses the violence rock. The Puka species is a dim-witted species, unable to grasp simplistic traps of bait. They shall be crushed. Dig Dug wishes to eliminate them all, but the creatures have ghostly powers, able to traverse through physical rock, entering the ethereal plane to give chase. Laughing. Dig Dug is unafraid of ghosts, providing death pumps once they materialize. Dig Dug can dig anywhere, up, down, sideways. However, his suit is made only for localized excavation, not for war. Dig Dug feels immense pain and distress whenever touched, falling backwards, losing balance. Dig Dug faces explosion into oblivion, leaving only stripes. Dig Dug must remain untouchable or face non-existence. Nothing shall stop Dig Dug from planting his beautiful flowers and growing his underground fruit vegetables. Power moderate. Dig Dug's harpoon inflator is deadly, but slow, and can only affect one enemy. Only through strategized digging arts can Dig Dug successfully fill the lungs of one while waiting on another. But the monsters recognize Dig Dug's power. Together, they are fearless. Alone, they are cowards. Defense low. Dig Dug is brave, but not very intelligent. He is ill prepared prepared to face the enemies that can easily destroy him. Pray for Dig Dug's safety. Agility moderate. Dig Dug performs a multi-directional dig, but very slowly. However, a jaunty digging tune accompanies him between every step. So while Dig Dug attempts to remain unflappable in the face of danger, at least he has some tunes. Grade D. Dig Dug is ill-equipped for his battle. However, he has determination. And sometimes, this is what it takes to succeed and grow flowers. But instead of using harmful chemicals to kill, Dig Dug himself becomes the harmful chemical. In the eternal fight to kill monsters peacefully existing in the underworld. But there is no peace. There is no escape. Only garden-based wrath. Next episode. When I want to be careful, I walk. Hold down the walk button and walk to the white line. With the walk button down, I won't fall off even if you try to make me. Go on, try it. 
Quest with me. Learn with us. Enrich your mind. Empower your inquiry. Like our material. Subscribe to our page. Put character into quest. Return every Monday for more. A question of character.